the Smith & Western M&P 2.0. This is the Crimson Trace one with the built-in laser. I've got about 125 rounds through it so far, and I do like it. It needs a lot of breaking in. The trigger's still a little gritty, but it's got a crisp break. Great reset, very tactile. You know as soon as it resets, right back on the brake. And I haven't had any problems from it so far. I've been to the range with it about twice. I've tested out the laser. The laser's spot on. It doesn't need to be sighted in. It's two settings. You got the regular on. And then you have the strobe. Metal, three dot, white sights. I might eventually change them to night sights. I'm not sure yet. But um, as of right now, it's doing me just fine. I pocket carry a lot. If I'm not pocket carrying, I'm usually hip carrying. And um, with something as thin as this, it's pretty easy. I figured I would get something small. So then I wouldn't mind taking it everywhere with me. Because I do have a full size that I can't, I can't carry everywhere with me. It'll print pretty bad. This is usually the magazine I carry it with, the pinky extension, the eight plus one, but it does also come with a six plus one. My pinky's kind of hanging off there. For deep concealment, I use that, but I don't really have to use it often. I carry 124 grain plus P Federal HST in it. That's usually what I carry when I'm off duty. When I'm at work, I usually carry uh, this 124 grain critical defense, but it's just preference. They both do their job. So this is pretty much my summer carry EDC video. I have some range footage that'll be coming up soon.